Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text, time to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the narrative lectionary, and we're in week three of the four-week psalm series, and this one is reorientation, uh, part one, as uh, Rolf says in his commentary, and so the item I'm using about this is so we're kind of talking about how how things have the the last two weeks have it's been like there was the last week of the the um, swimming noodle where uh, we call out to God save us um, and God um, comes and um, and wraps God's arms around us and um, and we talked about that with the swimming noodle and about how that helps us in the waves and the chaos of life. And now this, the reorientation about how we start to see our paths again, how God directs us, God leads us, and guides our steps. And so one of them, I'm looking at uh, optical illusions. I'm looking at things that um, look weird at first, or they're all, they, look, they are weird looking, but it's like we see and we go, I, I don't know about this, and this seems weird, I can kind of make it out. And, and they just mess with the eyes. And so this idea that, that that's the springboard for the children's sermon, that, that, it, that God, that there are things in our lives that, that cause us to be dizzy. And sometimes that's great, but if we o- overdo it, we start falling, we stumble. And um, there's the games that we play, the one where we put the bat. And I'm not going to do this in the church, but you got the bat and you spin it around and you, you fall. And... Um, and we know that there are things in life that cause that and cause us to have a hard time to see the path to, um, to, and yeah, to see the path. And I'm thinking about the people that we have in our lives that help guide us and direct our, direct our ways, the people that we trust, the people that we say, I, I need help. Would you help me? And God wraps that us in community and I've been really focusing on community of Christ and the community of the church and the people that are gathered around us and God calls them into our midst so a couple of items that we could use one but optical illusions there's so many out there you could do a search for Escher and see all of the all of the kind of pictures the optical illusions that are strange Uh, at the Dollar Tree in, in their book section and their workbook section they sometimes have an optical illusion there but a quick search on the web will bring a lot of um, optical illusions to mind. You might have, some of you might have the magic eye, and I've used this um, years ago in a children's sermon, but you know those magic eye books where you have to cross your eyes a little bit and then and then let, let it relax, and as you do, supposedly the picture comes to mind. Sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. But um, with these optical illusions, the things about that our eyes trick us, and we are then called back to what really is. Um, I have a I have an optical illusion that I use in my magic show that is that causes it, people to look. It looks like the head expands, and then the head shrinks. There's a local magician who uh, passed away a few years ago, Jerry Andrus, that had an. Uh, he was well known for his optical illusions. Um, search him up. Fascinating man. And, but he had an optical illusion where it was a disc that you spin it and the way that it made your eyes um, look, you look at the clouds or you look at your, your skin and it kind of bubbles. Um, it's, it's fascinating. But, um, but this idea that, we are, that our eyes can play tricks on us, our brains can play tricks on us, our hearts can play tricks on us, and God then comes and reorientates us, um, moves us into right paths, guides us, and again, brings people into our lives that help us along the way. All right, so I hope this can be a springboard. Um, It's like a children's sermon that's almost there, and um, I hope that that can be a springboard for you as you um, think about your own children's sermon and where God is guiding you this week. Thank you for uh, helping me create this community of faith, this community of uh, people working on children's sermon, and thank you for the work you do uh, reaching out to kids and adults alike. And um, I hope you have a fantastic week.